Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FI CO module. In the last training session, we have completed the general ledger configuration or the customization steps. In today's topic or today's training, we will be continuing with the general ledger counting. And in today, we will be doing the unit testing for the same. As a part of unit testing, we'll be covering the above steps or the transactions as on the screen. First is to create the GL master. The transaction code for the same is FS00. Then posting GL master document, display documents, change documents, then GL balance display that is the ledger balance display actually then the GL line item display that is the document display there is a different report for a ledger balance detailed ledger uh, detailed document wise display the transaction code is along with it FBL3N or there is a second transaction FAGLL03 the next is reverse a document so once a document is posted Maybe due to certain problem or certain clerical error or any other kind of problems, uh, the document need to be reversed. So that can be reversed with the transaction FB08. And then we'll be looking after a few of the reports which is needed on a day-to-day -day basis. So moving on to the first transaction that is to create the GL master. As on the screen, you can see that the path and the transaction code has been displayed to you. So for executing the day-to-day -day transactions, mostly we, what we use is the transaction code. However, as a consultant, you should know the path, but otherwise you can also use the transaction code. So we will be using the transaction code for executing each of these different transactions ahead in today's part. So moving up with the GL master, which refers to the general ledger master data. So if we go on to the SAP screen, how we can create the general ledger master data, the transaction code for that is FS00, enter. So that is what you can see over here. But now to create a GL, you should know what GL number you want to be created. If we go back to the customization steps, we have created the account group. The account group refers to the GL or the ledger account group. And those groups, on the basis of that, the ledger account has to be created. Let's revisit that account group so as to give you more clarity. OBD4, enter. So now if you go and cross check over here, you will find that the chart of account is 1000 and there are different groups within the chart of account if you can see over here and each of these have got different number range among themselves. So if you want to create a fixed asset ledger account, you need to create that particular ledger with the number assigned over here in from and to account. That is 100000 to 100490. So if for a fixed asset ledger account, we need to go within this particular range. And we have to ensure that within this range, that particular number should not be already created. If it is already there in the system with this number, for this particular company code, it will not allow you to create it again. So duplicacy is not allowed. Similarly, if you go down for accumulated depreciation, there is a different group. For work in progress assets, there is a different group. Inventory, again, there is a different group. For sundry debtors, there is a different group again. And if you see the same way, the series which is coming up with one relates to your assets. If you carefully look after it. But the series which is starting with the number as 2 belongs to your liabilities. However, 
the liabilities have been broken down into different groups like the liability share capital has been given a different number range as you can see over here similarly the reserve and surplus has been given a different number range the secured loan unsecured loan sundry creditors provisions then loans and advances similarly so these all different ranges have been given so that it become easy to understand things and the groupings can be easily done so that to have a, a, a easy mapping of financial statements as well at a later stage so if you go down further you will find that for the first two the series is starting with one and the two belongs to your balance sheet ledger accounts but if you go down further now you will find that for the income statement so for the income statement for the revenue sites or the income the three series which is starting refers to your sales or you can say the revenue part so the sales gl range has been kept separate whereas sales return again is a separate and apart from your normal revenues that is normal sales if there is any other incomes that has to be taken up in a separate group that is 3003002 300490 so any other source of income like income risk like interest received rent received or gain from sale of assets or anything like such will be taken up in the other income part so again the three the the number range is starting with 3 refers to your revenue ledger numbers whereas the number range is starting with 4 after that refers to the expenses ledger numbers so that is over here inventory management conversion charges salary and wages so the you can further divide it to down the layers depending upon your requirement or you could have taken up the simple one if you remember what we did was we took the asset as a one group liability as a second group expenses as a third group and revenue as a fourth group that's it simple so that is a more simple concept which i took so as to make you understand but to give you a practical understanding in a normal practical scenarios what we do is we break down those groups further as per the requirement in the business so that is why the assets has been broken down into different asset parts like fixed assets then inventory investments and debtors cash and bank and all similarly the liability side has been broken up into sea capital reserve and surplus secured loan unsecured loans then sundry creditors provisions and all so similarly you can break down your revenues your expenses as per the convenience or the requirement of the business and the grouping can be assigned to that so once that particular grouping has been taken up the uh, one need to take care that whatever the ledger accounts you create you create it within that particular group number if you take a wrong group number all your mapping all your financials and income statements may go wrong so that is the take uh, the care has to be taken so now if you go for the company code which we are using 1200 as of now we have not created any general ledger master data so what we will be doing is we'll be creating certain fixed asset ledger now and the fixed asset ledger number is 1 and 5 times 0 so let's see check in a new screen over here in a new session and let us see whether is there any number or not so let's start with the first one the fixed asset part so within the fixed assets there could be number of different fixed assets like there could be land building furniture and fixtures there could be plant and machinery there could be uh, many furniture uh, inventories finished goods sorry or there could be softwares or hardwares there could be vehicles so a lot of different fixed assets could be there which can be taken up so suppose i take the first number which is over here that is the first one i would be creating 1 5 times 0 and if i go for if you enter on the screen after this you will find a message 
you can see the message now that it says that the account 100000 does not exist in the company code 1200. So as of now, this ledger account has not been created. That is what we are doing. We, we, we need to create the ledger account. So to create the ledger account, the first of all thing you need to do is you need to assign the GL account number, which number you want to create. So that is what we took it from the range from over here, from the account group. And then you need to take the company code, that is 1200. And now to create, you need to go to this option over here, the third option. The first one is for display. The second one is for change. And the third one is to create. So you need to click on to create. So as you click on to create now, you will find certain options now. So if you go over here, you need to select your account group. So the account group over here, you can check that is fixed assets. So out of the whole list, you need to select your account group that is fixed assets. Then you need to select the profit and loss account state, statement account or balance it account. So whatever the ledger account you are creating with the basis of your account group, you can decide whether that is a part of your income statement or the balance it statement, balance it account. So I would be selecting the balance it. Now moving to the next is the short text and the long text. So this short text and long text refers to the description of the ledger account. So suppose the first thing which I would be creating is land. So it's up to you if the name is a landy one, you can put a short text over here and you can put the long text over here. Now, once you have taken these three, these things over here as on the screen, now we need to go to the second tab. That is the first tab over here is the type and description. The second tab is control data. So you need to click onto the control data. As I clicked onto the control data, you can see that the currency has been taken of its own. You don't need to do anything in that. The next thing you need to do is you need to select the line item display over here. And then you can go to your sort key. So the sort key is an optional part, but if you want, you can select it. So it is what I am selecting 001. So this is what nothing much has to be taken. You just need to select this line item display over here, which is a must. And then the sort key. And now moving up to the next tab that is create bank interest. So in this, you need to select the filled status group and the filled status group will vary as per the different ledger account which you would be creating. So if you don't know which filled status group needs to be taken up, you can take G001. So this is what we need to take and then we can go and we can save this screen. So once you go and save the screen option, it will ask you GL master display message. There is a yellow that is a warning and red, uh, green means that it is okay. So you can go and you can click on to this continue and you can see the data is saved. That means your ledger account is created. So now if you want, you can go back and you can have a look at this. So this is over here in the display mode now, as you can see. So once a ledger master is created, it will always be reflected to you in a display mode. If you want to go back, you can go back and you can see over here that this was the GL which we have just created. That is a land account and you can click on to this display over here and you will find the details now in the display form. Then there is a control option that is to just look after the, to the display part. And suppose in case you found that there is a need for certain changes. In that case, to make those needful changes and a later date, you can go back to this option over here as a change very much next to the display. This is a change option. So you can click on to this change. And in that case, you will find that the options have been opened up. So in that case, you can go back and you can make the needful changes as required. And if you want, you can make the changes over here as well. Suppose. 
So I took the text category as a star and then I have selected the post without text allowed. This refers to that all kind of a texts will be allowed for this particular ledger account whether it could be an input text or output text or whatever and in case I doesn't take any text code even then the posting without text will be allowed to me. So after that we can go back and we can save this screen. Continue. So that is what I have done and now you can again see that the data has been saved and over here the changes has been made. Even you can go back to your dis description and you can see that the changes has been made. So if you want to make changes you can go to the second tab as change and if you want to just have a display of the ledger account you can go to this display option. So this is how we created the land account. Similarly you can create more. So let's go back again and create something else. Suppose now I want to create a bank GL now. So for bank GL I need to take the grouping from 101660 in between that. So I would be taking the first one that is 101660 for the bank. So for that I need to change the descript the uh, GL account number over here. So that will be 101660 and then I need to go to this new or create option over here because this GL doesn't exist as of now for this particular company code. So to create the GL for the first time I need to get, go to the create option. But mind it first you need to put the GL number over here and then you need to go to the create option. So once I move up to create now you can see that the group has already been selected. However in case it has not been selected you can select of your own as well. So the one which you need to select is cash and bank. Then you need to select the bank balance sheet account and now over here if you want to have a cash account you can mention the short text and the long text as cash account. And then we can move to the next tab that is the control data. And in the control data part you need to just select the line item display and then take the sort text as 001. This is what you need to do in the second tab that is the control data part. Now once we have done this we can move to the next tab and here you need to take the filled status group that is G001. So once you have taken up this now you can go and you can save this screen. So once you have pulled up or have filled up all the informations on the GL master data you just move back and you can go back to save option. Mind it these all the other options over here on the below part to you like banking financial details for the in the company code, house bank, account IDs or interest indicators are used at an advanced level uh, for treasuries and financial supply chain part and all those things. So that is not needed as a part of the SAP FI module as of now. So now we can go and we can save the option over here and once we will be s click on to the save now you will find this pop up a screen and you can you can go and continue this or you can click on to the enter on the keyboard. So now you can see the data is saved and the GL has been created. So once this GL has been created now suppose I want to see what are the GL which are already been created in the screen because it may happen that I may get confused whether that particular GL exist or not. So in that case you can go to this option over here in the F4 part or you can F4 the from the keyboard on the GL account and you can find over here that as of now only three GL account exist in the screen in front of you. So the land account we have just created, cash account we have created and the provision was created by me earlier. So these are the three account which has been already existing. Now if you want to create more of the account you can again go back and you can create more of them. 
So suppose if I move to the next, like I need a revenue ledger now. So if you need to create a revenue ledger, whether you want a sales GL account or other income GL account up to you, like I want to create a sales, sales ledger account. So I need to take the sales group number in between. So I need to take the number from in between these two from and to part only. I cannot take any other from the screen. So let's take the next one as 10000. And now I have taken this first number, 3 is 5 times 0 from over here for sales. And now I will move to this create option. And now I need to select the group that is sales. Then I need to select the profit and loss statement account. And then I need to select the sales account over here. So you can take the sales account. And now we can move to the next tab that is control data. And within the control data, we need to select the line item display. Then we need to select the text category as a star. Then select the posting without text allowed and the sort text or sort key, sorry, as 001. And now we have taken up the control data where we have filled the text category. Then we have selected the posting without text allowed and we have selected the line item display. So line item display has to be ticked for all the ledger master, mind it. You should not skip this. Sort key 001. And now we can move to the next, that is the filled status group over here. So if you go and have a look of the filled status group list from the F4 key, you will find a whole list of the filled status group over here on the screen. What we need to do over here now is we need to take the filled status group G029 for the revenue accounts. So that is what we will be taking up G029. So for all the revenue ledger account, we need G029. That is the, the ledger master which will be creating with the number range as 3 will have filled distributors group as G029. And now we can move and we can save the screen. And once you save, you can see the data has been saved over here on the screen. So this is how you need to create your ledger master. And once you again go for F4 key on the screen, you will find a list of all the ledger masters created within the company code. Enter. So you can see now that land, cash, provision, and then sales account. So this is what GL account is all about. So this is how you will be creating your GL account and also you will be changing your GL account. So we have covered the change as well as already said that if you want to make any changes you can go to this change tab and you can go to any of these tab and you can do the needful changes. And else, if you want only for the display perspective, you can go to this display and you can just only have a look of the display. You cannot make any changes to this. So this is about creating the GL master records for the company code 1200. Now moving up to the next is posting transactions. So the document posting GL document, the transaction code for the same is FBC 50 and the menu path is on the screen, but we'll be executing it with the help of the transaction code. So this particular transaction is used for posting the business transactions. And this is specific for ledger to ledger transfers like cash sales, cash purchases, or any kind of an expense payment or cash payment of expenses. So these different kind of a ledger to ledger transactions, the transaction FB50 can be used. And this particular transaction is known as 
and enjoy transaction because it has been created as a as a most simplest way out so as it is a very user friendly for the users to use it in the life scenario so if you go and check the with the particular transaction fp50 on the screen let's see if i execute the transaction fb50 over here now as you can see the screen as i executed the transaction you need to enter the gl account document company code 1200 so you can see over here there are certain fields like document date currency posting date document date basically refers to the invoice date and the posting date refers to the date in which the posting was done and on the basis of the posting date all the different transactions or the reports or the ledger balances in the accounts and finance department works with so you can take the same date as the document date and the same date as the posting date as well then you need to select the currency these are certain mandatory fields which you need to take and then you can go for the reference the reference number basically refers to the bill number or the invoice number or you can take any other reference as well for your understanding then the next is document header text which is an optional part you don't need to take that if you want you can put any text over here for your understanding perspective now once you have taken up the document date the currency and the posting date and the reference number now we'll be moving up to the gl account so in this gl account we need to select the gl so suppose i want to post a transaction like for cash sales so posting a transaction for cash sales we need two ledgers one is for cash and one is for sales so both the ledgers need to be selected over here so to get these two ledger accounts selected we need to first go to search those ledger with the f4 option and then enter so you can find over here there is a cash account and then you as we know that if you go for a cash sales the cash ledger needs to be debited so we have selected the cash ledger over here or the cash gl account now from over here you will be selecting debit then we'll be taking up the amount over here and now moving up to the next is the next gl account which we can select again with the f4 key on the keyboard enter and then we can select the sales account from over here now suppose if you want to do the transaction for certain such transaction where the gl account does not exist in that case you need to create the general ledger master data for that with the transaction fs00 the one which we have done earlier to this and we created the cash or the sales ledger account with that so now crediting the sales ledger putting up the amount over here so once we have put up all the information on the screen we have taken up the date the posting date currency reference then the debit ledger account and the credit ledger account and the amount as well now before moving up to post this particular transaction what we need to do is we will be simulating the document so as to check that all the informations are correct so simulate is an option which provides you that to have a preview before going to post the document so as to just check back that the transaction is correct and there is no error in it so you can click on to the simulate over here and once you click on to simulate it gives you an message relevant to text this is a warning message you don't need to do anything you can click on to enter so once you enter it will take you to the next screen and now you can see on the screen this shows you the document overview document overview basically gives you the overview of the transaction which you are going to post into the sap system so you can see over here there is a document type essay then there is a document date 
company code 1200 fiscal year posting date and then the period is 11th and then the reference number and the document currency is there then the ledger account number is there that is one is for cash and one is for sales the cash account is debit that is the posting key the posting key 40 refers to debit and the posting key 50 refers to the credit part so if you find that this particular transaction is correct in that case you can go now and you can click on to this post option and this document will get posted so as I clicked on to the post you can see now the document number has been generated the document 1000000 six times zero was posted in the company code 1200 so this is how you need to post your documents your business transaction into the SAP screen and this is how we will be you will be doing your posting GL document that is MB50 now moving up to the next transaction next transaction of unit testing is display document so once we have seen that the document has been posted with the transaction FB50 that is cash sales now I want to go and have a display of the same document now for that the transaction code is FB03 so there are two way outs to go back and cross check the document one is once you have posted the transaction the document number has been generated so you can go to this on the top most over here to the document over here you can see so there is an option of display so you can go directly over here and you can click on to this display it will take you to the display document part as you can see now you can see the document number the company code fiscal year document date doc posting date then the reference then the debit and the credit details which you can cross check so this is one way out of going and displaying the document the another way out is the transaction code fb03 so we can go and execute the transaction slash in fb03 enter so once you enter you need to put the document number over here on the screen which you want to display then you need to put the company code for which company code this particular document number belongs to and the fiscal year that is 2014 and once you have put on this three parameter on the screen you can enter on the screen so once I entered on the screen you will find that particular document displayed to you on the screen so this is how you can go and you can check you can display your documents it could be any any document number which you want to display you can display it with the transaction FB03 and if you want to check further details within this you can go to this cap which is known as display document header and once you click on to this display document header it gives you number of more information to you like the entered by that is the user ID the entry date which date actually the transaction or the document was posted what was the time of entry is there and what is the transaction code used for posting the transaction so this is some of the information which you can find with the document header within the document part so that is over here so this is how you can display your document within the SAP system once you have posted the document now moving up to the next after displaying the document the next comes up is change document so suppose I have already posted the document and now I found that I need to make certain changes to it so you should take care that you cannot make any every changes within the document which has been posted you can make few changes to the document which has been posted into the SAP system and the changes which can be done is like changing the reference field changing the text 
or the assignment field. You cannot make changes to every field. Like suppose the document which we just posted, let's make certain changes to that. So the transaction is FB02 for changing, changing the document. That means you can edit the document with certain fields. You cannot make changes to all the different fields within it. That means you cannot change the date. You cannot change the ledger account. You cannot change the amount and all. So this is over here. You need to put the document number, then the company code, and then comes up is the fiscal year. That is 2014. Enter. So once I enter on the screen, you can see the same document on the screen. But now if I go to this, again the document header now you will find the difference so in the change you will find that there are only two fields which are in the change mode one is the document header text where I can write it as cash sales like as a reference and the second thing if you want to make changes to this reference field you can make it as suppose one two three four so this is one of the changes you can do and enter and you can save it. So once saved, the changes will be saved in the screen. You can go back again to the same and you can check back over here. So you can see the changes has been taken up over here on the screen. The next change which you can make is in the line item. So these two, one is a debit and one is a credit are termed as two different line items. And you can see in the second column, one two this refers to the line items so if you want to make changes to any of these line item you can double click onto that line so suppose i double click onto the cash account line it will take you to that particular line item and you can see that there are only two fields which are in the change mode one is the assignment and the another is the text the text basically refers to the narration. So over here also you can put as cash sales or any other information for that matter which you want to save it for future references within the document. So this is what you can do and then you can go back. Similarly you can go back to the second line item also and you can write in the second line item as well. So in the second line item suppose I also write as cash sales and now I can go back and I can save this screen so until you save it the changes will not be saved you need to save it after making the changes and once you have done that now the changes have been saved so then you can go back again and you can cross check with these so this is how you will you can make changes to the document which is already posted into the SAP system. So now moving up to the next transaction is GL balance display. This particular transaction basically relates to checking out the closing balances for a particular period or maybe for a particular uh, year as well. So that is what this particular transaction is used for and uh, you can even even check the debit and the credit total balances, the carried forward balances from the last year to the current year within the transaction as well. So this will give you a better understanding in the SAP screen. So the transaction code for this is FS10N. So if you move on to execute this transaction FS10N enter so you can see the screen now GL account balance display in this we first need to select the account number for which we want to check the balance so suppose I uh, for that we need to put the company code 1200 then we need to take the fiscal year that is 2014 and then we can go for selecting the account number in this so you can go to the search options we need to put the company code 1200 enter so we can see that these are the number of different 
GL which has been created and suppose I take the GL over here as sales account that is what I have selected the GL I have assigned the company code and the fiscal year and now to check the balance we need to go to this option over here which is known as execute button or you can even F8 function 8 key from the keyboard as well so once you click on to the execute now you can see that it shows you the screen where it shows you the period wise balances from 1 to 16 where first 12 are normal period and from 13 to 16 are the spatial periods which we have discussed while posting period variant as well so in the 11th period you can check that there is a balance of $10,000 which is a credit balance and the same balance has been put up as a as a balance on the other side and then the accumulated balance basically refers to the balances which has been carried from the last period or the last fiscal year as well so the net balance as of now over here is ten thousand dollars now suppose I want to check whether this ten thousand dollar includes one particular business transaction or multiple business transactions so for that you can double click on the amount and once you double click it will show you the number of different transactions involved so as you can see it has been generated so you can see over here on the screen it has got only one transaction the document number is over here on the screen as you can see the document type the document date when it was been posted and then the amount in local currencies have been displayed to you as ten thousand dollars so this is how even within the GL account balance you can go for checking the document numbers or the business transactions with how many business transactions or the document the amount came out to be ten thousand dollars so the details can be looked by double clicking on the amount so going back this is how you can check the balance display for the GL accounts mind it this can be used only for the ledger accounts it cannot be used for customers or vendors the customers and for vendors will be looking after in in the separate module of accounts receivable and the accounts payable part so moving back this is how it can be executed now moving on to the screen this is a old transaction code there is a new transaction code from SAP which is known as FA GLB03 this is a new transaction which SAP recommends to be used however the functions are uh, of both the transaction is more or less the same there is no differences among them but whenever you execute the old transaction that is FS10N you will see that a message comes over here on the below side it says the new general ledger is implemented use transaction FAGLB03 that is the latest or the new transaction as per new general ledger perspective provided by SAP so if we execute the new transaction that is FAGLB03 FAGLB03 enter you can see it is again the same screen there is no difference in the screen if you want to confirm that I have executed the same transaction you can go over here on the side over here on the right hand side below you can see over here the transaction over here has been F GLB03 so this is how you can even check the transaction on the screen that what transaction has been executed even you can check the user ID and the program executed in that as well so the transaction which we are using is the new transaction that is FAGLB03 and in that again the same procedure everything is just similar 
we need to put the account number then the company code and then the fiscal year and now we can go and we can execute the transaction so once we execute it now you will see that the same balance have been reflected to you over here on the screen so this is how you can check the balances at the end of a period you cannot check for a day-to-day -day basis it will reflect you at the end of a period only so that is all about GL balance display which displays you the balances of different ledger accounts and now moving on to the next is GL line item display that is FBL3N so again for FBL3N there is a new transaction code by SAP for new general ledger accounting that is FAGLL03 So this is what you need to execute. Now let's move on to the screen FBL3N. So the GL line item display basically gives you the detailed itemized detail of the ledger accounting that in a particular ledger how many number of transaction has taken place what was the date what was the the posting date what was the document date what was the amount then what was the tax code used what were the cost centers or the profit center so this gives you a detailed ledger view for any ledger within the SAP system so let's check in the SAP screen now FBL 3N enter now instead of taking the company code 1200 because it doesn't have much of the transaction let's go for first with the company code this then later on we'll check with some other company code which will give you abundant data for understanding perspective so you need to select again the ledger account or the GL account number you need to put the company code and then you need to select the open item cleared item or all items now there is a concept that GL line items are of two types one is an open item one is of cleared item open item means the items which are standing which has not been cleared which has not been completed because of certain reasons for example when an invoice is posted from the vendor side that particular accounting entry is affected in the ledger account but until the payment against that invoice is done that particular line item is not completed so until the payment is done it will keep on as open item but once the payment is done to the vendor the those particular line items moves from open item to cleared items so if you want to check the open items on a particular date you have to put the date over here it could be a current date it could be a previous date depending upon what kind of a data or what kind of information you are looking for and similarly if you want you can put as all items with from and to date for suppose exam for example I am looking for a particular period every itemized detail of a ledger for a particular period so in that case you need to put the date for that particular period or month from 1st till 30th has to be put up over there so we'll be executing this as an open item part right now so we need to select the GL account number then the company code and the open item has to be selected and the date has to be taken over here on the screen and then we can go to execute so once I execute it will show me the details you can see over here the details are there there is assignment then the document number this document number is important it refers to as the voucher number or a unique number by which that particular business transaction can be referred to for future perspective then there is a business area if a business area concept is used then there is document type document date 
posting key then amount local currency text and if you want further more details you need then you can go to this option over here as change layout you can see over here change layout so once you click on to the change layout it will give you a list on the screen and if you want any new fills to be taken up from the right hand side you can add on those particular new fields like I am taking up the posting date similarly I am taking up the line items you can further go down and if you need any other things like I am taking the fiscal year then I am moving down to for any other options if you need you can take those things as well so whatever needed you need to select that like this so I have selected this and it became highlighted and then you need to go to the arrow over here and you need to drag these things from the right side to the left side so click on to this arrow and it will take those things from this side to that side you can see over here so these were the things which has been taken up from the right hand side to the left hand side and now we can go to copy or enter so you can see now these were the fields which has been further added up which were not there earlier for information perspective so the posting gate is there now the fiscal year is there the reference number which works as an invoice number in certain cases as well has been taken so this is how you can execute your GL line item display now suppose I am taking up uh, an another GL for a different company code so as to so you are more more bigger picture for a for an understanding perspective so now we are going for a different company code that is 1000 for GL account number 1000000 that is a 1 5 times 0 this GL account is for land and in this we'll be looking after how a huge or a detailed descriptions can be taken up for the land account for the land ledger account so now executing this so once you execute you can find that there are around 37 items displayed so these are the whole list of the items there is an assignment which refers to uh, certain certain codes which is used for the for the business transactions then the document numbers are there on the screen then there is the business area which has been used on the screen to you then there are document types then there is document date posting keys amount is there reflecting to you there is a local currencies a different one over here in this INR is there then there is a text code is been used and the narration are also been used in some of the cases similarly if you want you can add further few things from the change layout option like I'm taking up the posting date then I would be taking up the the fiscal year I can take up further more things if I want like I can take the profit center like I have taken it on the left side and then you can see over here now that the posting date is there on the screen there is fiscal year 2013 then there is 2014 as well on the below side there are different profit centers over here as well so this is how you can execute your GL line item display which gives you a more detailed ledger statement so this works as a ledger statement which gives you all the details related to the transactions one to one with each and every steps or each and every details with respect to the ledger account so this is about the GL line item display that is FBL 3N similarly you can use a new transaction code called FAGLL03 which is just a replica of FBL 3N so moving up to the next is reverse a document the transaction code for that is FB08 reversing a document basically when a document is been posted wrong due to some 
problem or due to certain clerical errors or certain other different reasons, those documents need to be reversed. Because you cannot go and correct the document which is already posted within the SAP system. In SAP system, once a document has been posted, you cannot correct the amount or the date or you cannot change the ledger accounts. So a lot of things are there which you are restricted. You are not allowed to go and make the changes in them. So as a result of which we need to reverse the, the wrongly posted document within the system and then we can go and post a fresh new document or transaction within the SAP system as a correct one. So how we can reverse the document? Let's move on in the SAP screen. The transaction code for that is FB08, enter. So over here on the screen, you can see I have executed the transaction FB08. It says the reverse document header data. Now in this, you need to put the document number which need to be reversed. Every business transaction which are posted has a document number which is unique. It is with the combination of the fiscal year. So if the document has gone wrong or has been posted wrongly in the SAP system, you need to have that document number which need to be reversed. So now let's see that suppose this is the screen and in this from this we can take a document which we will be going to reverse assuming that that particular document has been posted wrongly into the SAP system. So suppose I take a document like 100030 and I take that over here on the screen. Now in this case you can check the fiscal year over here will be 2013. So I need to take the fiscal year 2013 so as to reverse the 2013 document number that is 100030 because a document number is followed by a fiscal year. Now moving on. These are the three things which you need to put for reversing a document. The first is the document number. Second is the company code and the third is the fiscal year. Then moving on below, you need to put the specification for reversal posting. So why you need to reverse the document? You need to select the reversal reasons. So there are a list of reversal reasons which we can check with the F4 key from the keyboard. So you can see there are five reasons for reversals. One is reversal in the current period whether you want to reverse it within the current period, you want to reverse is the in the closed period, you want to actual reversal in the current period, actual reversal in the closed period, and then the accrual and deferral posting. So in basically in a practical scenario, the reason code 01 and 02 is used. So now for reversing within the same fiscal year that is the old one 2013 we need to go and need to select reversal in closed period so as to reverse in the same date in which it was posted so if you select the reason code 02 it will reverse the document in the same date in which it was actually posted that is the way back in 2013 but if you go back and you select the reason as 01, that is reversal in correct current period, in that case, the document will be reversed in the current fiscal year that is 2014. So in normal practical scenarios, whenever a document is wrongly posted, we always reverse them in the closed period. So we need to select the period over here. And then we need to select the posting date. So the date over here you can take as 28-2. So that is what the date you can put up over here. 28-2-2014. And now once you have taken these two things, you need to take the re reversal reason and the posting date. Now, even if you want to cross-check before reversal that 
the document you have taken is is the correct one which you are reversing so you can go and you can check the display before reversal so you can select display before reversal on that enter so this is the document which you want to reverse and then again you can go back and now to reverse the document you directly need to go and need to select the post option or the save option so now going to post as I will click onto the post option it will reverse the document so now we can see that the document 390181 was posted in the company code 1000 so this is the reversal document number because whenever a document is posted when you go for a reversal the same document get reversed with the debit becomes credit and the credit becomes debit so this is how you need to do your reversal if we go back and we can check again with our own document which we had posted earlier in the FB50 part that is the cash sales in FBL 3N enter let's take up uh, so this was the document which we posted earlier in the in this in the training part today now let's suppose I want to I have posted this wrongly and I want to reverse this document so how we can go back and we can reverse this so for that we need to go to the transaction FB 08 enter you need to select the document over here then the company code and then the fiscal year and then the reversal reason and then you can go back and you can see the display before reversal over here on the screen so this was the document and then we can go back and now we can go to post and it will reverse the document so you can see now the document 1000001 was posted in the company code 1200 if you want to display the document you can go and you can click onto this display over here on the document on the top side click onto the display and you can see the document has been reversed so now the cash account which was been debited earlier now has been reversed with credit and the sales has been debited and if you want to go and cross check your ledger account whether the ledger account has been reversed with that or not so again you can go to your ledger FBL3N and you can check the ledger balance so you can see that now the ledger balance is zero because earlier there was 10,000 as a negative but now with the reversal it has become offsetted and has become zero so this is how a reversal of document can be done when a document has been wrongly posted due to certain different errors or clerical errors so this is how you will be covering up your unit testing in the general ledger accounting part now moving up to the next is uh, reports there are a number of different reports within the general ledger accounting which is used in a day-to-day -day requirements into the business so you should know how those reports can be can be looked how those reports can be executed and from where you can find those reports within the SAP system so there is a path on the screen and with that path only we will be moving up where with this path you will find a list of different general ledger reports out of which many of them are useful for you some of them are not useful for you so what is useful you need to find it out as per the business requirement and you need to use them for your business so moving up to the screen now with the path we need to go to the SAP easy access screen that is over here SAP easy access we need to go to this SAP menu part so within the SAP menu part you will find that there is an information system this information system is the one which provides all the different reports for all the different sub modules or different modules within the SAP system so if you talk about SAP FI it will provides you the reports for accounting within the accounting head so we need to go to accounting expend and within this you will find financial accounting for SAP FI 
expanding it it will give you further different sub modules within the SAP FI module like general ledger accounting accounts receivable then accounts payable fixed assets so we'll not be discussing about all of them because we are doing only the general ledger part today so we'll be covering the general ledger reports so moving on to this you can see over here as I expanded this option over here for general ledger you will find number of different reports on the screen to you so the first one is information system new the new consists of some of the latest reports provided by SAP itself but before going to that we'll be executing some of the reports over here so the one of the most common report which has been asked in a day-to-day -day requirement is that the trial balance the trial balance basically the ledger balances so that is what over here is known as account balances so for having the account balances from the SAP screen you need to execute the transaction f.08 so to execute this if you know the transaction you can directly use it or you can come to this path and then you can click on to this and double click on this will take it take you to the transaction or to the report so now double click on to the f.08 it will take you to the report and within the report you need to put your company code for which you want your trial balance or the GL account balance then you need to put the fiscal year for which you want to check or you want to have the trial balance even the trial balance can be taken up on the business area basis so if you want the trial balance on the basis of business area you have to put the business area over here else you can move down further now to the reporting period so the reporting period basically that for which period you want the GL account balances it could be for one particular period it could be for two it could be for a quarter or a semi yearly or half yearly as you want so suppose I want only for a particular period so for that I need to execute that particular period as 1 1 2 1 1 that is the current period and then we can execute the transaction over here on the screen so you will find on the screen that there are as of now only two ledger account which has got certain transactions involved so the company code is there the general ledger account is there and then the account detail is there the balance carry forward if there is any balance carried from the last fiscal year to the current fiscal year will be taken up as a balance carry forward if there is a balance previous period so we had executed the report for the period 11 so if there will be any balance from the 10th period will be reflected in the balance previous period now for the current period there is a debit there is a credit side the debit is ten thousand dollar the credit is ten thousand dollar and the accumulated balance is zero why because we had only posted one transaction and just a couple of minutes back we just reversed that document as well so ultimately the balance came to as a zero similarly if you want you can execute the same trial balance for a different company code suppose which will give you a larger picture of a trial balance and a, a better view as well so I am taking a different company code that is 1000 executing now for the same fiscal year and for the same period now executing it over here on the screen you can see that it has a different picture within the screen as you can see but now over here the company code is different because of which this particular company code has got number of transactions and as a result of which you can find a quite healthy amount of balances in the ledger account as well so there are land there is building there is a balance carry forward as well from the last fiscal year there is a balance from previous period as well then in the current period if you go down there is no transaction as of now but if you go down you will find transaction in some of them as well on the debit side on the credit side and then it gives you the 
accumulated balance which is the net of the balance carry forward plus the previous period plus the debit and the credit and all so this is your trial balance how you can execute this trial balance for the business requirement so this is your one of those reports which is used on a very common basis on a day-to-day -day requirements that is f.08 for account balances moving on to the next is f.01 that is balance sheet so another important which is needed at a quarter end or a month end as well so if you want your balance sheets to be looked at every period end you can have that with f.01 so for that you can execute this report double click on to the transaction f.01 and you can see this is your financial statement so right now for our own company code 20 sorry 1200 there is no transactions in them so I will be executing it for a different company again I will be taking up the fiscal year variant over here because without creating a fiscal year variant you cannot have your financial statement fiscal year version basically refers to the the layout in which your financial statements has to be reflected so uh, which ledger has to be taken up in in which part whether it will be a part of asset or a liability within the asset it will be a part of fixed asset or it will be a current asset or other current assets what so those layout has to be designed and that layout is designed in the financial statement version which will be we will be going through in the coming training sessions ahead so we need to select the financial statement version then you need to select the reporting year and then the period and then the comparison period and then the periods again comparison periods now moving down you need to select the ALV tree control and then you can select this as a structured balance list so once we have taken up this now we can go so this is what you need to take as of for the financial statement you need to select the company code then the financial statement version the reporting year period comparison year then the comparison period moving down you need to select the ALV tree control and the as a structured balance sheet so a structured basically means the structure which has been defined in the financial statement version so now moving up we can execute this so once we execute we can see the screen over here with few of the messages so we don't need to do anything for this we just need to click on to the enter on the screen on the on the keypad so once you enter it will take you to the next screen so now you can see on the screen that this is your your balance sheet or you can see your financial statement where there is a liability there is an asset so it has been divided into two part one is the balance sheet another is a statement of profit and loss within the balance sheet it has got equity and liability and assets within the statement of profit and loss you have got revenues expenses and then tax expenses so if you go further expanding these you will find further details within it within equity and liability there is shareholder fund non-current liabilities and then current liabilities within assets you will find non-current assets and current assets similarly if you expand your shareholder funds you will find say capital reserves and surplus within share capital you will find the GL over here with that is equity share capital there is no preference share capital as of in it and if you expand the reserve and surplus you will find there is a further reserve and surplus head and within the reserve and surplus head there is the GL account that is retained earning account so this is how your financial statement has been mapped so how these are coming up within the uh, this particular GL has been mapped to share capital then the another GL 200120 has been mapped to reserve and surplus similarly if you go further the current liabilities there are different heads and in which the 
the GL accounts have been mapped. So these all mapping is done with the final list statement version which we'll be covering up in the coming training sessions ahead and just to give you an overview of how this financial statement can be executed. So this financial statement will be checking up over there as well once we will be in that particular training training session part. Now moving on to the further reports if you go to the information system new expanding it you will find further more reports within it like within the account balances there are a number of different so you can see now there are certain general reports and there are many of them are country to country specific reports as well as per their own accounting principles and their own laws rules which have to be followed as per their legalities so moving up to the general reports which is needed to be looked there is GL account balance so if you want to have the GL account balance you can go to this this is a new, new means a new report developed provided by SAP. So if you want to see the new report, that is S underscore PL0 underscore 86000030. You can double click on it and once you double click it will take you or it will redirect you to the report. So you can see over here. So this new report gives you multiple options. You need to select the country sorry currency type that is the company code currency then you can select the company code suppose I am taking up is 1000 now if you want your general ledger balances in today's requirement in practical world the companies now don't need the general ledger balances only on the basis of company code they need the general ledger sorry the GL account balances on the basis of different parameters like they want it on the basis of business area if they're not using the business area they want it on the basis of cost center or profit center they want it on the basis of the segments it could be functional areas so on what different parameters they need their general ledger accounting balances all those options have been provided within this new report for understanding the the practical scenarios of the growing businesses so within this you can select the business area if you want like suppose I select the business area as PA01 I want to see the GL account balances only where the business area PA01 is used Moving down now we can go and we can select the the fiscal year for which you want to look for and the period. So the period I am taking up is 01210 that is from period 1 till period 10. So this is how you need to execute a report. So this is I have taken up the currency type then the company code. The business area if you want to take you can have it or you can leave it blank as well. Then moving down the ledger fiscal year then period from and to and now we can execute this report. So you can see now once it has been executed it shows you the balances as of now there is no record selected. That means the business area doesn't have any any records as of now. So let's take the business area off and now executing it again. So you can see now on the screen in front of you for the company code level these are the different balances which has been reflected on the screen. So it shows you the ledger account is over here the description there is a balance carry forward then there is a balance from previous period then there is a cumulative balances debit and credit so a lot of list of information has been provided to you. Similarly if you go back And I execute this report on the basis of suppose the profit center 1100 to 1190. So this particular profit center represents one particular plant. So I want to have the ledger account balances for that particular plant. I can put the business sorry the profit centers over here. So now executing it for that particular prop plant one you can see that this particular report is for 
the plant one that is the profit center profit center one one zero zero to one one nine zero so this shows you that now you are not restricted to have your trial balances only for the company level you can have your trial balances for a, a particular plant or a particular division or a particular reason as well so this is one of the helpful report which has been provided by SAP similarly there are other report as well from the SAP side so these are some of the important reports which have been used on a day-to-day -day basis and furthermore you can explore out of it you will find number of different more reports which can be used on a daily basis from your side the most of the reports works on the same way as we have checked these these few of those reports over here on the screen so this is what is all about about the the general ledger accounting part where we have executed all the unit testing the all the business transactions over here uh, related to the general ledger accounting to check whether all the customizations or the configurations are up to the mark and we have executed number of reports as well so as to show you how the reports are executed and some of the common report which has been used on a day-to-day -day basis in the business scenarios so that is it in the general ledger accounting part thank you take care